Hello, this is Ute from Ute's Herbal Rich Corner. And before I start, let me give you all a special thank you so much. We have, uh, I would say, like at this time. 148 subscribers this is amazing you are amazing we are so thankful from the bottom of our heart 148 subscribers um yeah we are speechless and that's why i put my special for you thank you <laughs> this is my other bing bing so <laughs> i get used to it so um today i want to talk about tinctures because we had so many videos about our beautiful teas and now it's time for tincture here we are so um today's tincture i want to show you is marigold marigold is also known as calendula yeah <laughs> my pronunciation is wrong i guess i think it's called calendula <laughs> but yeah um get used to it i call it calendula <laughs> so calendula or marigold has been used since the middle age so again for hundreds of years and it has a positive effect on wound healing and it also medically recognized so there are i don't know here in uh, in the states but in germany it's definitely recognized from the normal doctors and that's amazing um the extract from the flowers and i show you that here these are the calendula slash marigold flowers dried um they are promoting wound healing and helping against inflammation there is also evidence that calendula extract kills bacteria viruses Fungi or fungi <laughs> again such a word please tell me um, when I pronounce it wrong and I'm sure I do um, and support the immune system so wait you need to stay until the end of this video because I will show you how you create a tincture out of marigold slash calendula so by the end of the video you can see the making of marigold tinctures stay tuned so one of the most well-known benefits from marigold or calendula tinctures is as i said their anti-inflammatory properties it can help to reduce swelling and pain making it a great natural remedy for issues like arthritis muscle sores soreness hi, hi, hi. <laughs> for example for stomach and intestinal problems um liver weakness menstrual pain or constipation so i made the main focus here we are the main thing i made is here menstrual cramps and stomach pain because i'm always taking the for me the main health benefits of the plant or the herb so but it is definitely it can also because it's rich on lutein anti-inflammatory and can help to healthy your I have glasses on otherwise I would peek my eye off right now so <laughs> it can help uh, healthy your eye it helps to protect from UV light damage and that means it helps to protect against cataract this is some illness in your eyes um, and this is funny it's also called poor men's saffron because saffron is one of the expensiest or yeah it is the most expensive herb or plant you can buy it's yeah a normal person cannot afford it this is ridiculous expensive um, but that's why um, this is also called the men's poor saffron because for example if you put this um, and boil it together with your rice the rice has a nice orangish yeah orangish <laughs> color um, yeah this is more or less the main thing from marigold calendula or calendula <laughs> um, it helps as i said it kills bacteria viruses fungi supports the immune system um, it helps your tummy um, it helps with issue with uh, arthritis muscle soreness and uh, liver 
weakness and pain on your monthly thing, what I don't have anymore. <laughs> and it also helps your weak, 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 your eyes. <laughs> so um, there is one thing you cannot or you should not take anything with marigold or calendula um, when you're pregnant or when you're breastfeeding because this is a no-no. Okay, so for this part, uh, wait, <laughs> ting, 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 ting. I am your master herbalist. I'm not your doctor. I will not and I cannot give you any medical advice. Everything what I'm talking about here is from my own experience, from my husband, uh, friends, customer, um, but it will never be a medical advice. So if you're still there, you can be relaxed and sit down and Watch me how I'm doing a marigold tincture. It will not be finished because it takes over six weeks until it's really done. So, thank you for staying on. And as I promised you, you will now see how you can make out of calendula. Um, in Germany, we say Ringelblume, Ringelblume, which is so much easier than calendula or marigold. So, how I... Go ahead and make a tincture. You don't see me on the left hand corner right now because I need the whole picture for showing you. So I always use empty um, sterilized mason jars, I guess they called. And they, they are in different sizes. As you can see, this is a baby one <laughs> and this is the big one. So what we are doing, we are taking without making it any mess here which is not possible. <laughs> now I have calendula all over the place. And how you get them dry as they are right now, um, it's like um, the same what you are doing or what I'm doing with my lovely dandelions. So you pick them out of your garden um, and they, um, marigold slash calendula, they are not blooming um, before summer or such like this because they are more going into the fall. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. You can get them in yellowish, in orangish and yeah, they, they are such a nice eye catcher in, in your yard and they are growing like, as I like to say, like no tomorrow. Oh, you should see the mess here now. Maybe I should take a, gl a little glass but it is what it is. Okay, so switching to tongue. So what I'm doing here is you can make tinctures with alcohol. So you infuse the material, the herbs, the flowers in alcohol. I mostly I use alcohol when when I'm making tincture out of barks, um, like the white willow bark or cat's claw. The the herbs they are harder. So an alcohol is better for this kind of herbs because it's pulling all the goodiness out of the barks. Here, oh, I'm taking, oh, you don't see it, glycerin, vegetable glycerin. That makes the tincture um, taste very, very sweet. So, and this is a mess as well. So you fill the glycerin. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> up in the jar until the top and then you see the bubbles here everywhere so that means at this point the glycerin is going down you see it here it's getting down the glycerin is getting down and it will be soaking from the material see how it's coming down and it's bubbling and bubbling and bubbling so normally to make it faster you can take um, a spoon, a wooden spoon, um, and push it down so the glycerin is faster in the material. But here you see how fast it goes, so I have to refill it because it has to be full until the top. Yeah, it's, it's getting slower now. So, And when you make a, a tincture, um, I always put on <laughs> No alcohol. So that's my short version for no alcohol. So you put a label on it so you know exactly what it is and exactly the 
measurement, how much material you put in and everything. So what I, <coughs> excuse me, what I have done here is just to show you how a tincture, yeah, I want to say is born. <laughs> um, and then you see the glycer the glycerine is nearly on the bottom. You give him a good shake. And I'm sure I have to refill it. So you see how the uh, marigold is swimming in the glycerine. And this now, see the bubble, so I'm sure I have to refill a little bit more as long as the bub bubbles are coming up. Um, it has to be the... Glycerin has to be really until the top um, because if there is any air, any emptiness between the lid and the the material, then it can yeah it can go bad because of the oxygen. Um, that's why it has to be full until the top, and then as I said, six weeks at least six weeks um, on a dark spot. Uh, I would say um, I have enough dark sport, uh, spot, sports, <laughs> enough dark spots. So you, for example, in in your in a shelf in a dark room in your cupboard, and it has to be dark, and you have to at least once per day shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Um, so the material and everything is um, combining again. Okay, so. I hope it was interesting for you to see how I make a tincture. As I say, the end product is this, but the making of is that's what I showed you right now. Okay, so again, thank you so much for staying until now. And again, a big applause with my new one. No, it's not you. That's not new. A big, big, big applause and thank you for our 148 um, subscriber on our YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber yet, um, may you want to go ahead and subscribe if you have a YouTube channel and um, click the bell. Yeah, click the bell. So you will be notified every time a new video is coming out. All right. So as always, I wish you a wonderful day and stay warm, stay healthy. And yeah. We'll see you the next time. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Love and light. Your Ute from Ute Server Witch Corner. Yeah.